My name is Amade Berder. Uh, I'm here in the Drie Fontaine Blendery because the brewery is up in the village. We brew in the village and we have our big stock here. I'm in the business all my life. I remember Beltos and Barres always. And I'm very proud that I can say that this, this is a fantastic project from a very old traditional beer style which is so unique and can only be brewed and blended and blended in the region of Brussels. This is a regional beer on the Zene River region. And for Drie Fontaine we're taking care about traditions. And let's say it's very simple. But my father taught me for blending. It's still the rule. We don't change anything about it's still the rule. So we don't have a filter here, we don't have filings, we don't have uh, carbonation or whatever. And that makes me that in this new situation where I'm living here in this place, that I'm very proud to say that is a future with a young dynamic team, with a vision, with a business plan. I never had a business plan in my life. <laughs> with uh, a lot of strategy. And going back to the roots, it's very important for me. That's why I think we have the beautiful location here. We're just on the Zene River. We are in the neighborhood of Brussels and still the Flemish part of Belgium. And this is a nice, beautiful warehouse where we can do what we want to do. There's a big storage here and we can bottle what we want. By the way, today we are brewing because it's too cold for the month of May. So that makes it possible for brewing. And next day we will be very cold. It's very cold spring now. That's in the other way, it's good for us because we can continue to brew. As long as we have night temperatures from 10 degrees or lower than that, if we can brew. And believe me, we have a lot of beautiful projects here about the future with a fantastic staff, young people all together, working together, have ideas. My role in this complete business, uh, last year I said stop, I'm 67. Let's say I have a, a few mechanical problems in my legs because I work too much in my life. And that the younger people said, Arma, stop. As long as you are here, we are happy. You don't have to work anymore. It's also different, of course. That's a different management. It's, it, it's, I cannot do what I want to do anymore. I cannot make a blend anymore. It's not allowed because we have a strategy, a vision for the future. The program, they decide to do that. This is uh, Michael was responsible for whole production, for brewing and blending. Werner is was doing the management, and we have a lot of young guys here. Let's say the middle, that will be 25 here, yeah? old. And the good thing is that we have a lot of good ideas for the future. And the last say out of this, we have another beautiful project. We have our own farm now. And not a small farm, it's a rather big farm, in which we go for sustainable farming. So at this moment we are not farming, not at all. And at this moment we are going for the old variety of wheat and barley. And the other, the idea was that we can do that. And this idea came not for us, it's young farmers who came to us, it's a different world. And from that idea was going here with support of uh, Flemish and French speaking university in Belgium, we have the idea for the future. But the most important thing is that we want to make that a farmer is working on his land and make his living without Europe or without whatever. Hard working, making money, like everybody is doing, and not like it happens today. They are mostly like that, more or less bankrupt. And that's what we want to do. And finally, let's say the consumer will not pay that much amount more for the beer but be sure, that's my old dream because I'm born on a farm. I'm a farmer's son. So, okay, I was two years when we left. I don't remember that much anymore, but um, I still have that feeling when I'm on a farm, I'm at home. Yeah? And that makes that going back to the rules, the old traditional farming, sustainable farming, responsible farming, far away from all those chemicals and industries without what they're saying finally. I think we made and with I think we made really the right decisions and in support of young yeah, 
people here. And will that uh, sustainable farming feed back into your brewing or uh, going to That will be, yeah. So we will do that for probably as the contact, the first contact we had on one farmer. Now we need a big table <laughs> because they understand what's going on. And at this moment, we try to find contact with other brewers, regional brewers from this region, Brussels and area, to make that they understand that it can be nice and fantastic. And we have some uh, experiences now with uh, sustainable farm and cereals. And do you think that's the way to go for the Lambic, the traditional community? It's, it, 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 yes, yes. It's not an invention of me. We see that there is worldwide more sustainable farming, wining, uh, wineries that is more organic and bio, whatever you call, everywhere in the world. And we know if you want always the same apple that you cannot do but the free natural elements you cannot do that and that's what we do so yeah what happens happens so for example we had a very cold spring here and we had on the flower on the scar basically wild cherries in minus two so there will be no cherries this year there is no cherry next year maybe so and, i have to wait and let's talk about the interest in the scarbic revival of that but it's not a revival for us. We okay. always had that. Oh. All as long as I can see, I see Scarbeck Ciclica. I still remember when my father when just picking up in the region here. There was no calculation machine. We didn't have that. We had a book in which we had to find the calculations. And I was a small kid, I had to do that, calculate it for my father. And second, just with his own car, he was driving from one place to another just to pick up the cherries. We're talking about the 60s, the 70s. So that's a long time ago, but it always has been. That's, but just when we didn't call it Scarbase Creek because a creek was for us always Scarbase Creek. And after that, like we are doing as well, we have also uh, Polish cherries for the regular creek because we don't find that much anymore. By the way, the Scarbase Creek 3 is not living that long. That's maximum 25 years. You have to replant them. And if you don't do that, you don't have a creek anymore. But that means we had some trees here, beautiful trees, but we just plant them in a different way here. Because the place where we have the trees, we have uh, the flowers now. So there was like 10,000, there is 10,000 square meters flowers, wild flowers for the bees. Because we have our own beehives here for our honey that we use for the, for the girls. At the same time, the, we created motorcycles and associations, so we gave a lot of young scarbage trees to people who wanted them just to plant them in the garden and pick them when they are ready or when they have to, to, the possibility to do and we paid the right price. So if you're picking up the cherries that you can say, I make my living today, that's one of the plans. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, in all your time uh, spent in this milieu, have you seen any evolution in the thinking around Lambic and girls producers mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. you know, there's blenders, there's mm -hmm. things. What's your view on the evolution? As long as they have respect for traditions, fantastic. It's not because you have an infected beer, barrel aging, that you have a Lambic. That's another thing. And I don't want to be compared with sour ales. We are not sour ale brewers, we are Lambic brewers. Lambic, that means a season a recipe, a brew method, a region, that's Lambic. You cannot brew with Lambic wherever, ever. it's just in this region. You can make a wild fermented beer all over the world. And oh my God, we, I tasted a lot of good of them, like I test undrinkable beer as well. But we still have good examples, and I think we have good examples in the States, for example. So, uh, what I'm tasting, uh, there's more and more better quality coming also from that region. But. The most important thing is that you need respect for the time. So before you have that beer, drinkable beer, in bottle condition, it's four years. And before there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong to do that, but you don't have the really good uh, beer. Lambic needs time, 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 time is money. So let's say the evolution of the, a lot of brewers, they're making different sours, what they call, or whatever, wild, and they give them different names, there's something wrong with that. That's, uh, in a certain way, I'm thankful for that, because they finally, they opened the way for us. And as more you are coming into a product, 
as more as you go in quality, as more you closer come to the origin, like everybody is coming to that. That's what we do here. So young generation go, but the plan is do it right and respect what you have to respect. That's very important for everybody. A good beer is a good beer. Whatever it's brewed, a good beer is a good beer. It can be in the US like it can be whatever other country in the world. Good brewer is a good brewer. That's all. But Lambic is Lambic. And there is nothing comparable to that. It doesn't mean that we don't have similar beers, but I don't like the name Lambic, of course, because Lambic is a region. I will not make a red wine and I will not call it a Napa Valley red wine style. <laughs> That's the same. Respect the regions. And finally, what are you doing in your retirement? Is, are you enjoying it? Yeah, I'm taking um, the time for me more and more. So I'm living on the coast side now. Otherwise, I'm too much here and they don't want to see me every day. <laughs> but I'm here three, two days, depends, uh, or maybe sometimes more. I'm here, but not for decisions anymore. Um, the big decisions, they, we take them all together with the partners. And uh, I am not into the, the daily decisions anymore. We have good staff here, they are doing a good job. My partners are fantastic. So let's say that um, I'm retired, yes. Is that difficult for you to leave <laughs> something you built? Believe me, that's a big bottom. Whoops. Yeah, that's a big bottom. I hope you and you will have that, that you will think about me. That's a really big bottom. But it happens. And now I'm saying to you, go for me and you, you have my benediction. Go for it. You're free. But I am very, you know, very a lot of confidence uh, for the future. They will not change anything. By the way, whatever they change in the contract, they need my signature. And otherwise, I cannot do nothing here. So I protect myself. <laughs> I love. And your brand. So you, you don't believe me, and I will tell you what you want to hear. Never goes on draft in the Fontaine. <laughs> oh, it's good. You Over my something. dead body. Yeah. No, 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 no. As long as I'm living, no. No. My father didn't teach me that. So that's tradition. Over with the discussion. It doesn't mean the beer is undrinkable or whatever brewer is doing that. I don't care about that anymore. I don't have any idea about that. We're using our energy to do what we are doing and we are respecting with the traditions. And our tradition is a very, very, very noble world. So we're taking care about that. <laughs>